Hi, I'm Elizabeth Townsend Gard um, from Just Want a Quilt, a research podcast coming out of Tulane University Law School. Today we have a video, a video, um, and we're doing a sew along, a sew along where Gigi Bai will be leading us through Jen Kingwell's The Gypsy Wife Quilt, which is awesome. Um, so these are videos that Gigi will produce um, and help us understand how to do it. And Corey Dutton, um, a law student, is going to learn to quilt. So um, it's for beginners, advanced people, even law students. Um, and it will be great. So uh, I hope this helps. So where do you find the pattern? Um, Jen Kinkwell's pattern can be found at Amazon. It's again called the Gypsy Wife Quilt. It's super popular. You can also get it at Uptown Needle and Craftworks here in New Orleans. Just um, look them up online and call them or at any quilt shop. So get the pattern and join us. Hi guys, it's time for us to get ready for section three of the Gypsy Wife Quilt um, Sew Along with Just One Quilt. And in section three we have some squares that we've already done before, which is nice. And it's a square and a square um, that's gonna be four and a half inches. And I downloaded this from the Generation site that is on our website um, connected. It's a free download. And this is the one that is gonna end up being four inches finished, but four and a half inches before you sew it into the quilt. And we're gonna do this one first. It is, um, we're gonna start with our square. And remember you put it on the back. You put it wrong sides together, uh, right, right, wrong side of your paper to the wrong side of your square. And to get started, I draw a line a quarter of an inch away from between the center one and section two, the first thing I'm going to sew on. I lay my fabric with that line, and that gives me the perfect fourth of an inch to start with, if you can see that. I'll pin that on or place that in place, and then I'll be ready to add my square that I've already cut to that upside down along the line, making sure I'm within the square there. And I'll be able to sew a quarter of an inch right there and flip that up, and I'll have my first little square um, that'll be turned into a triangle once I trim everything up. So I'll get started with that. We're also going to do a three and a half inch um, square and a square. Again, downloaded from Generations Quilt patterns.com and it but it's bordered so we have some extra pieces here that we'll use to get that bordered and then we're going to do a square and a square with courthouse steps and it kind of comes out big it's like a ten and a half and our final one will be the color wheel oops, wait, which is a big square and I don't have this for paper piecing I couldn't find um, a paper piecing but it's not difficult. Um, you're just sewing some triangles together and it came out the right size. So I'm happy with the way this came out and I'll work on that with y'all and hopefully you'll be happy with yours too. Okay, we'll get started. Okay, once we have our first piece on, we've sewn along our line across the back or on the top of the paper piecing. We are now ready for our second piece and um, I was able to get them matching going directionally the way I want them to go. I fold it down. It helps me to see where the, the sew line is going to be so that I can place it. And then I flip it up and just make sure I'm going to make it on all sides, which I will, um, once I sew on my sew line. So then I get it placed on here. And I turn it over and I place it under my machine. And I'm ready to do my next line along that line to get my seam. Now, I'll be able to trim it up in a minute and have my quarter inch seam there. So I have all this extra under here. So I'll flip this back and I can get rid of all this extra here giving, by folding my paper back and just cutting a quarter of an inch right here. So I'll go a quarter of an inch from the edge of my from where my seam is, right here. Let me draw a line here and show you. But make sure you fold your paper back. You don't want to lose the paper um, behind there. Ask me how I know. I've already done that before. Okay, so I've drawn a quarter of an inch seam away from my stitch line. I'm going to rotary cut that off. 
or trim it with scissors, whatever's easiest for you. And then I have less bulk under there and I still have my paper for when I'm ready to go and do the um, trimming up around the edges. So now I'm ready for piece four and then I'll do piece five and then I'll be ready to trim up along the dotted line and I'll be finished with my first square and a square. I like to press as I go and again pressing is a little different than ironing. Ironing you're going back and forth like this like on shirts and um, tablecloths and whatnot but on here first thing we want to do is get our seam, we press it, we lift up and then we're ready to push, pull this over to the side and we can press again and you're not really going back and forth, especially if we're working on um, a seam that might be a bias seam. You might end up get, stretching it and making it wonky. So we just want to press, press, and then press again. Hopefully, open it up. And when you press it the first time, it, they say it like melts it or kind of seals it. So we have it ready to go. Um, for the next thing. So now we're going to put on our next piece ready for um, piece four. Sorry, that's piece five. We're ready to do piece four. Corner four. We'll sew along the line right here and then I'll be able to flip this up. Now I have to check my direction here. I want them this, let, let's see, so that when I flip it up they're going like that. So I've got to be careful when I place it. Not everything is directional like this, but if it is, I like to make sure it's going in the direction that I want it to be going in. Okay, so I've trimmed up my first square and a square. This one is measuring four and a half inches across and up and down because I need that half an inch because a quarter of an inch I'll go into the seam when I put it, put it into the quilt. So now I'm going to do the same thing with my three and a half inch square and a square. But I'm also going to border it. So I have my center square here that I will place wrong sides together on the back of my paper piecing piece. Okay. And then I'll have my corner pieces. So I'll go from one piece one to two. So I'll lay this right sides together and make sure that I have plenty of space for it when it folds over. I've, I've cut these pieces really big so I'm really okay with that. I'll sew along this line and later I'll trim it all up. Now on the first one I drew my line on the back side so I could line my square up exactly where it was going to go and I can do that again. Sometimes it just makes it easy for me when I'm starting out on my very first line if I do that and I'll put a quarter of an inch drawn line on my piece of paper and that gives me a reference point for where I want to put my first piece and then from there I can put my right sides together like so, put it under my machine and sew along this line right here. I'm going to go ahead and put together the um, square to square since we've done that a couple of times then I'll come back and talk to you about the um, putting on the border. Okay. Okay, so we have our square and a square that measures three and a half inches that is ready now to be bordered. So what we're going to do is put our smaller borders on first and then we'll press those open and then we'll come back and do our larger borders and then we'll have a square and a square that's bordered. Um, that's, I've trimmed it up and it's ready to go. Okay, so we've got the two side borders sewn on and now we'll take opposite on, of each other and then we'll take our longer piece and do one on top and one on the bottom and that will give us a border um, square and square. And it should end up measuring, I think 5.5 .5 is what this one ends up measuring. And then we'll move on to our square and square courthouse steps. And I believe it starts no, it doesn't start. It's um, just piecing. It's not paper pieced. And here's our bordered square and square. And 
it still has the paper on it. I could probably take it off, but I think I'm just going to wait and take it off later when we're putting the whole thing together. Um, remember when you're doing your um, paper piecing, you're going to use um, shorter stitch length, like 1.4 um, or something, and that makes it easier to get the, uh, kind of perforates it, so then the paper can just tear right on off. Okay, let's go get working on our square in the square courthouse steps. This is Elizabeth Townsend Guard from Just Want a Quilt. You've been listening to Gigi Bai take us through an aspect of the Gypsy Wife Quilt by Jen Kingwell. Make sure you get the pattern. You can get the pattern at Amazon or Uptown Needle and Craft Works here in New Orleans or at your local quilt shop. Um, you need the pattern to be able to understand what's going on. And then um, Gigi helps us through it. So join us. Come play with us. Come to our Facebook group, Just Want a Quilt. Uh, go to our website and be part of our newsletter where we'll help you through the Gypsy Wife Quilt. Um, that's JustWantAQuilt.com, spelled W-A-N-N-A, Just Want a Quilt. Um, and of course, listen to our podcast. It's available on iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, and if you can't a chance to like it on those, it would be super awesome.